What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. All right, so today's video is episode three in the new Powerwall 2.0 project. Now today's video is probably not gonna be anything special. All we're gonna be doing is making a new bracket or shelf for the new box. Basically, I'm gonna copy what I have in the other box and that's, that's pretty much all we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing some cutting, some grinding, some welding some drilling holes and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you want to follow along and watch me build a one inch square tubing rectangle, then let's get to it. All right, today's video, we're going to be making one of these shelves for the other box. This is one inch square steel tubing. I've had this stuff for freaking ever, probably since roughly 2008 time frame. I had a whole bunch of it from some other project. And what happens is whenever I'm done with that project, I just throw it in the backyard because it's steel and you can reuse it. And then I'll just pick it up and use it for the next project. And that's pretty much what's going to happen today. We're going to go out in the backyard, cut some up, go into the garage and then weld it into a rectangle for a shelf. I'm going to take a quick measurement on this one one here just for the depth of this kind of looks a little under seven and three quarters so we'll have to remember that number and we'll go over to the other box and make sure the dimensions are the same so pretty much in this one spot right here it's technically seven and seven eighths but we need a little wiggle room so we'll do that seven and three quarters and then if we measure the length it's going to be 29 and three quarters. So we'll go roughly there. All right. So we basically have 29 and three quarters. So we're going to do two thirties and we have two that are seven and three quarters. So we're going to do two eights. So that's 30 times two equals 60. I don't maths very well. We're going to need uh, this guy right here. We need one of these. All right, so my steel is back there by this trailer here. All right, so here's the square tubing. It's actually pretty big. There we go. And I need, I think it was 76 or 80 inches or something like that. Cool. All right, I'm going to cut it off. Well, I don't know how well you can see this, but we got most of it sanded. I didn't take it all the way down everywhere, but that's okay. We're just gonna put some flat black on it and call it a day. And of course I can't find anything to hang it on, so we gotta do it right here. Boom, all right, shelf is complete. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is throw this inside the box. This shelf should fit in here pretty nicely. And I need it to sit 12 and a quarter from this top edge here. At least that's what I did on the other one. 12 and a quarter there. All right, so should be 12 and a quarter all the way around. Kind of want to put some tape on here to mark it so I don't lose my spot. Next thing I need to do is 
drill the holes for the side. On the other box, if I use this square here, I come in one and three quarters of an inch from both edges here. So I think that's what I'll do for this one. So one and three quarters there. There. All right, so got a mark there and a mark here. Next thing we're going to do is uh, drill those out. These are the little carriage bolts that I'll be using. I'm not going to be using these ones because I'm going to go get stronger ones, but this is going to be what I'm going to use temporarily until I do get those. We'll do a little pilot hole first. All right, holes are drilled. Next thing I need to do, if it'll focus, is I need to file out the little square for these carriage bolts, you know, right over here. So that'll be the next step. And I have a square file for that. So this might get loud. I'll probably just mute it for this. All right, there we go. Got my square hole. All righty. Now we are good to go. We can throw some nuts on those. All righty, it's looking good. If I even have, if I even have nuts. Ooh, I think I do. All righty. Found some nuts. We can throw those on here. These are just temporary again until I get some better carriage bolts for those. Now, do I have a 10 millimeter? That's the question. Alrighty, looking real good. We got our shelf mounted in there. So the next thing we might do is see if we can find a piece of plexiglass or something to set on here. And that'll be kind of like a dual purpose. One, the cells will be insulated from the metal and two, It'll be more like a shelf, so the cells have something to sit on and they can't kind of tilt fall through it or anything like that. And I'm thinking down here, I might just use the, the fish paper to be the insulator along the bottom. All right, let's do that. Hello. Hello. Anyway, back to what we were doing. I found this piece of plexiglass. This is from like a TV screen or something. I think this might work for my little shelf that's gonna go right here. So what I'm gonna do is measure that one right there since it's already set up. And then we will we'll cut this guy and see if we can get it to fit. If we do the batteries plus the little compression plates, we need, uh, I think I could do 24 inches. That'll give me a little extra. And then of course, I'll just go the thickness of the, the metal shelf. And I know this stuff is pretty damn strong. It's almost got like a fibrous material in it. And on one side, which you probably can't see, it's got a bunch of little dots and stuff on it. Uh, it's not 100% see-through, but that's okay. It just needs to be a shelf. All right, so 24 inches. We're going to give a little practice try here. Awesome. 
Just one quicker. Hmm. Try this. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it kind of worked and kind of didn't. I don't think I scored far enough. Alrighty, we're going to try it without the wrenches first. Oh, that worked out pretty good. I guess there's a little bit right on here, but that's okay. That's on an end. Here we go for the next one. All right, will it work like this? Let's find out. No, definitely not. Now, since this edge is so small, I'm probably gonna have to use the wrench here. That's okay. Yep. All right, now I've got a little saw blade effect on here I need to clean off. All right, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but we got it. I'm probably gonna take this outside real quick and finish off the sanding, just so it's not a huge mess in here. And I'll go do that real quick off camera. Boom, all right, there we go. We got two plexiglass shelves. Sanding didn't take too much. Yeah, you probably can't really see it on camera, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be anything special or anything like that. So here we go, a little test fit. Looks pretty damn good. <laughs> Well, that shows up on camera, but that's okay. I think that's gonna work out fan-freaking-tastic. And of course, if I didn't say it before, the reason I wanted it to be this specific size, and sorry for the echo from the box, I wanted it this size so it'll cover all cells plus the compression plates, and I didn't wanna go all the way to the end because I'm gonna have the series wire going over here from this pack to this pack, and then on the other side is either gonna be the positive or the negative down below, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, the other wire has to go up on that side. So that was the reason for the size, but this is going to work out great. Let me make sure the other one fits okay. And, and it does, of course. Can you even see that very well? I don't know. It looks pretty good. All right, there you go. All finished with the shelving. It looks like it worked out pretty damn good. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. That shelf wasn't too hard to build or anything like that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you wanna follow along with the new Powerwall 2.0 journey that I'm embarking on. Like that smash button, and I'll see you on the uh, um, um, what else? Uh... Hey, what's going on? On what? I tried to look up in, you know, look up on that, uh, that one. I saw that thing, that thing that you on. On I YouTube? I look it up, man. I couldn't find you. I, I couldn't. Aver Average Joe. Here, I'll show you. Just send, send it to my phone. Okay. What you making your movie? Yeah. What you working on now? Uh, I'm working on a battery box. Here, I'll just send it to you. Hey man, you need any tomatoes or anything? Um, maybe. I mean, I got I a bunch of tomatoes, man. Do you have your phone on you right now? Oh, hold on, hold yeah, on. It, it went through. Hold on, here it, it is. is. No, nope, there it is. There it is. Now, there, now you got it.